Hello and welcome. Today we just have a pretty quick video. Uh, we have a suggestion uh, left in the comments of the last video we did, which was just how to do the 2D laser. Um, today we are going to be turning the laser on and off with a timer. Uh, so it will turn on, then turn off. Obviously this can be used for more than a laser. It can be used to do anything where you want it to toggle back and forth. Uh, but yeah, so let's just open up Unity and we'll open up our script. So this is where we left off last time, um, which I'll link the video if you want to follow this so you have a laser so you can just do it the same way we are, or you can just do it um, with the code we're doing now basically and just put in a print in the console or something uh, instead of changing the line renderer. But yeah, so all we want to do is add a I enumerator. So we want an enumerator. We're going to call this one our timer. And in here, you all right, girl? Um, in here, we just need to actually, so yeah, with a I enumerator, basically it's going to just say that it's not valid unless you are um, waiting for a certain amount of time because you need to return a wait. So we just need to yield return new wait for seconds real time. We'll wait two seconds. And now it's going to accept that we're allowed to do that. Um, at the end of this function, we're going to want to call the function again. So we're just going to do a start coroutine. We're starting our timer. We're not passing anything through because it doesn't need anything. So that will, at the moment, it's not being triggered out of the code. But So we'll just do this quickly. Copy that and put it in the start. And basically, at the moment, we have code that says on start, start this coroutine timer timer starts, it runs for two seconds, well it waits for two seconds, and then it runs itself again. So it will wait for two seconds, run itself again, wait for two seconds, and run again. And it will just keep doing that forever. Um, yeah, so that's the start of our timer. What's up, yeah. um, so now, let's actually put in some logic. So, we want to get our line renderer, and we want to enable it, or disable it. So, whoops, I'm going to make that equal to false. Oh, she wants to go over to her cage. She did. You want some food? I'm going to put some food in her top bowl. I'll be back. Okay, so she's just eating on top of her cage now and having a bit of a bath. But yeah, so we want to disable our line renderer, which we're doing. Wait for two seconds. And then after that, we want to enable our line renderer and wait for another two seconds and start our timer again. So let's just disable this code. So again, Alt and Shift and the arrow keys allow you to highlight down a row. We can comment that out. So now it's not uh, being affected by the spacebar, and so it's going to be affected by our timer. So save that, and we'll come back into Unity. Waiting press play on off on off so yeah that is a that's one of the ways that we can toggle back and forth of our laser but let's show another way that we can do it so we'll come back into our script and we'll just disable that because we don't want to use this timer and if we just turn it off there it's never going to go into here so this will never run so it's never going to start itself again and under it we'll add another i enumerator and um, we'll just call this one toggle and we can just copy this code here we want to wait for the same amount of time and then yes for this one we're going to need a bool so we're going to add a private bool i'm just going to call it toggled and it can be set to false to begin with. So now we have our ball down here. And then in here, we just want to check if we, if toggled equals false. So just like that, we want to make our line renderer dot enabled equal to false. And then else, give it its brackets else we want 
So if toggled equals true, we want line renderer dot enabled to equal true. But we're not setting toggled anywhere yet. So all we need to do is say toggled equals true here. So if toggled equals false, we make the line renderer turn off and we say toggled equals true. If toggled didn't equal false, then we turn the line renderer on and we say toggled equals false. And then again, we're going to need to start this coroutine at the end after waiting. So just start, not stop, we want to start coroutine. And we're starting, what do you call this? Toggle. Not passing anything through again. And then because again, we're not starting this code ever, we need to up in the very start, turn on our toggle. So now because we have toggle up here and not timer, we're not going to be running this block of code. We're going to be running this block of code. And basically this one just has a bool. And then we have our I enumerator. And if our bool equals false, we turn on, we turn off our line renderer and we make toggled equals true. And if toggled equals true, we turn our line renderer on and we make toggled equals false. And so this code only runs every two seconds because we turn it on, we run this code, then we wait two seconds, then we run this code, then we wait two seconds, then we run this code. So let's save that and have a look at that in Unity. Wait two seconds, wait two seconds. Yeah, so that's just another simple way that you can toggle back and forth with a laser or any object again, like I said. Um, I'll show you what I mean by if you don't want to use this code and you just want to use a console print. Instead of doing the line renderer stuff here, you would just want to comment out that and put in whatever you want to be turning off and on or true and false or one and zero, whatever you want to be toggling between, you just want to replace it with those lines there. So we can just do a print to the console. So print a string. Uh, we'll say this one is true. Oops. And then down here, we'll do the same thing, but we'll pass false. Oops. Now, if we come back over to Unity. Oh, and go to our console and turn on the prints. Yeah, every two seconds we'll get false and then we'll get true. But you'll see they're just going to be building up here. So, yeah, true, false. I mean, the other way around, but yeah. So, yeah. You can toggle back and forth, if anything. But yeah, I hope that was helpful. Uh, if you have any other videos you'd like to see or a continuation of this one again, uh, leave a comment down below. Before I forget, there's probably one other thing I should mention. Uh, our game Elden Path of the Forgotten will be coming out this year. Uh, if you didn't know, uh, I also run a small studio and we've been developing a game since 2015, which is a medieval eldritch fantasy. Uh, focusing on environmental storytelling and reactive combat. So it's all about your positioning, stamina management, and timing. Or just going after those parries. So yeah, this game will be coming out in the coming months on Steam. And then soon after that, it will be on console. So if you're interested in following the rest of the development, we have a Patreon where we post updates of all the stuff I'm working on. Um, there's also a mailing list, which is just for a notification of when the game is actually released on Steam. Uh, that's the only use of that mailing list currently. And there is our website and all of that kind of jazz. So if you're interested in looking at that, have a look at the comments below and you'll find all of the information about this game. Oh. But yeah, it's been in development for a while, so we're pretty excited to see it being released, and hopefully you guys will be excited to play it. But yeah, um, 
thank you for watching this video. If you learnt something, please like the video and leave a comment if there's something else you'd like to see or just if you have a suggestion or anything. Uh, but yeah, thank you for watching and I'll see you guys soon.